How's it going everyone? This is MindBlank, welcome back to my channel where we're taking a closer look into DX11 and DX12 alongside ultra-wide benchmarks in BF1 featuring the Radeon RX 480, GTX 1060 and GTX 1070. I've already tested DX11 on these cards in the beta and haven't redone the test for the final release as the situation is pretty much unchanged since the beta was very polished in this regard. I said I will come back with a DX11 vs DX12 comparison once the full game is released and this is it, but with ultra-wide benchmarks to boot. So quick word on ultra-wide, this is a proper implementation with not only excellent scaling in-game but also for the menus and everything else. Other games should take note of this as this is the way to do it. Let's kick it off with the X11 benchmarks in 2560x1080. All the cards in this test are overclocked to their maximum stable GPU and VRAM frequencies that are obtainable on my own models. This is a lottery, remember, what works for me might not work for you or vice versa. I only use overclock cards since if you haven't already noticed I'm a big proponent of OCing and I run all my cards overclocked regardless. I use 1% low frames instead of minimums as minimums are a weak metric. 1% lows show what the average of the 1% slowest frames in the test are. This is a better metric but it has its limitation and you will see shortly after we look at the X12 performance. Pretty straightforward here, the mid-range RX 480 and GTX 1060 offer excellent performance with the GTX 1070 being around 28-30% to 30 faster than them. The GTX 1070 is great for 1080p 144Hz or even 1440p 144Hz if you overclock it. Switching to frame time analysis, everything looks good, there are some dips for all cards and I could stand to see better frame pacing and more grouped frame times here on my overclocked i7-4790K, by the way it's running at 4.6GHz for this test alongside 2400MHz RAM, but it does look good and we see very consistent performance here for the X11. And we're looking at the X12 now and we actually see worse performance for the Nvidia cards anywhere from 5 to 8% slower than running the X11. The RX 480 is doing definitely better with this API being a hair faster in the X12. We actually see the GTX 1070 being only 17% faster than the RX 480 which is the only situation I've seen a gap so low between these two cards. Normally it is between 27 to even 40% faster in favor of the GTX 1070 of course. Anyway, switching to frame times and yeah, you are seeing this right. These huge spikes go upward of 100 milliseconds, which is just huge. Needless to say, the frame pacing is out the window, but as you can see, this is present on all three cards, so this is not manufacturer specific, but rather something to do with BF1. When it does work correctly, the frame times are much more grouped than what we saw in DX11, which is a shame really, as I'd prefer DX12 even on Nvidia cards with a slower performance, but with smoother gameplay. I've repeated the test three times in different circumstances and the spikes are always there. In 3440 Ultra Wide DX11 we get to see still very good performance from the GTX 1060 and RX 480, but the lows are under 60 and that means that for multiplayer with these cards you will need to lower a few settings to high probably. The GTX 1070 is still strong and maintaining above 60 FPS in worst case scenarios, meaning the 1% lows, so you are good with this card for a 75Hz Ultra Wide 3440 monitor as long as you overclock it and pair it with a fast processor. Frame times are again peaceful in DX11 with some spikes that are not unusual since these cards are doing their best at this resolution but large explosions manage to momentarily hamper, hence the spikes present only on the two min range cards the RX 480 and GTX 1060. But it does look good for all three nonetheless with the GTX 1070 obviously taking the cake here. Again, the X12 brings improved performance only for the RX 480. I have to mention that I was running this on a FreeSync monitor and the RX 480 was noticeably smoother at this resolution than the GTX 1060 since it was right in the active FreeSync range of the display. The GTX 1070 is right at the 60fps border with its 1% lows, so it is still good to go. And bam, again frame times for DX12 are a disaster and we see the same huge spikes. Since these are not present at the beginning I have to suspect these are somehow tied to the explosions as the first part is serene before you go onto the front lines with the tank and all hell breaks loose. Again no card escaped this problem so the conclusion is... 
Stick to DX11 until someone takes note of this and is remedied. I have a friend reporting weird stutter and lag in DX12 on his system as well without conducting frame time analysis or things of the sort. This is what prompted me to take a closer look and see what is going on. So clearly something is wrong with BF1 here. This is sad for all users since DX12 brings better frame time grouping and frame pacing when it works and double sad for Radeon users as the game also has the potential to perform better in DX12 on their cards. I really hope this was informative for you guys and now you know which card to use for your ultra wide monitor in BF1 and also which API to use for the time being. Remember to share to help others and thank you for supporting this channel by subscribing. See you next time everybody, bye bye.